Hello everybody. What I want you to do is open your console wherever you write your code. And now search for that is type import pi input. If you have an error like this, watch the video. And if you don't have an error and just have the next prompt, you should skip to 1 minute 37 seconds. Open your python file directory that should probably be where I am going. Now, after coming to this directory, I want you to press shift and right click then open this in terminal in this terminal window type pip pip install pi input now as you can see it has been successfully installed Again, I want you to type this in your console, import pi input. This time you should not have any error. Yes, we do not have any. Now we are good to proceed to our code. From pi input dot keyboard, we want to import key and controller. Let us make the variable keyboard as our controller, C capital. Now whenever we want to press something using this module, we write controller dot press and the key that we want to press. So in this case, let us press A and execute the program. So as you can see before completion of the program, we have a typed there. Also, when we are using multiple presses, we should also remember to release the key. Otherwise, it is just keeping on pressing other other keys. Now, you can also type sentences using this module. The syntax is keyboard dot type and then whatever sentence you want to write. So let us just say this is typed in python and execute the code. Yeah, there we have it. Now we can also show that this sentence is being typed by a human by putting some time duration between each keyword that is being typed. So let us say we want to type um, Python says thank you guys for watching. So we could import time which is another module which allows us to slow down the process for letters in A that is in our sentence we want the keyboard to press each and every character that is keyboard that type letters time dot sleep 0 0.2 seconds that is after each character it would take a 0 0.2 second break and now we execute our code and as you can see beautifully it's typing also this will work if you are on any other screen for example we can say time dot sleep for 5 seconds 
and then execute it. So now in those 5 seconds I will open notepad and we will see that python will type there too. There we have it. Now python is typing. We can also use this anywhere for example again I will go on browser and open the new window. There we have it. There it goes. So this is how it works. Thank you for watching.